All right, we're catching up the tail end of our Game of Thrones houses, and we're gonna finish up with. We're gonna start with House Martell. The easiest thing about these is that you've basically learned a lot through everything that we've said before. The more you know. Read a book. Anyway, so we are at House Martell. You've got Martell. They're the brown people of Wal of oh, I was gonna say World of Warcraft of Westeros. They're the they they're, they're the brownies of Westeros. If you watch South Park, remember um, in the movie Operation Get Behind the Darkies? You have the Darkies in this case, House Martell. And they're in Dorne, which is very south of Westeros. They are the last people. They, when it was time the Targaryens took over, they said, screw you, we're not bending down. It's like the South America of Westeros. Yeah, sure, we can go with that. Yeah. Very interesting society. You've got them, so you've got, um... Tiggle biddies everywhere. At the end of the season, actually, House Martell has legally become extinct. Oh, well, that's not good. But we'll discuss that in our final thoughts. Wait, we, what? House Martell, because of what's happened. Let's go on this. So we've got where they didn't bow down to Targaryen rule. We're going to go with there. It is Rhaegar who marries... Yep, there we go. Right. And she dies with the kids. And that is the only reason that they kind of were part because of the Seven of the Kingdoms. Mountain. Yes, the whole <sighs> yeah, exactly. But you've got Dorn. He's the leader. That was like the best death scene in this entire TV show. It's like him just crushing his head. Because it wasn't just like a sword or like someone getting pushed out of a window. But they're going to get landing. they're going to get a chance to see that, right? Yeah, but it was just freaking <laughs> like it was just so up close and personal. You could like feel his brain cavity just exploding or imploding. It was just amazing. Yeah. Aside from friggin' poop shoot, that was boring. He's moody today, don't mind him. Moody. Yes, he's very moody. I'm not moody. Anyway, so you've got Dorn. He's the leader of the house. He's in a wheelchair because he has gout, so it makes him very difficult for him to walk. But he's pretty sly and he is very observant. He doesn't go into wars that we know of because he's not what are you doing? She chewed the pen cap. Don't touch I touched my the pen cap. <laughs> Don't touch my pens. Anyway, let's get on this. Let's work on it. Because you've got him. Oi! <laughs> he is Oberon's and Ilya's older brother. He's the leader. After Oberon defeats, is defeated by the mountain. Alaria, who is Oberon's paramour. Well, she is. I know, it's the word paramour. But she's a sand, and as we were saying before, a sand is equal to snow. That's a bastard. So, she's Ilaria Sand, and her children, she has five of Oberon's eight children. I'd rather be called Sand than Snow. Yes, and then Pike is the Greyhorn. Yeah, I'd rather be called Sand. Because sand, sand gets sand. in everywhere <laughs> and tortures you for life. <laughs> yes, it Snow does. goes away, and Pikes can be broken, but Sand is forever. It does. I'm... That's my quote. That's his quote. That's my quote. No one else can take it ever again. You have to make it known it's an asterisk. <laughs> Register that shit. Alright. So Dorn. He's the leader. He's watching everything. Alaria is pissed off, right? She's like, why are we not doing anything against the Lannisters for this happening? And he reminds like her. She's a really pissy person in general. Yeah. No matter what you're talking about. She's a shit bitch. It's a nice day. There's a cloud in the sky. She's oh. very big on vengeance. Sorry. But he reminds her. He reminds her, hey, he kind of entered this tournament on, him, on his own. He was happy to do it because he was trying to take vengeance for his sister, which obviously failed. That didn't help at all. No. Doesn't matter. No. But we'll talk with we'll, we'll, that. You've got Doran. So that's that. With him. He didn't do anything about the Lannisters. And she was pissed off, so when they took Jamie, when they kidnapped Jamie, and he was coming from Marcella, Marcella, that Doran realized this, that they were, his son was in danger, Tristan. 
So he says, you take him. We're going to keep this marriage. Take him to King's Landing. Everything will be safe. Then you have that lovely kiss that happened. And Myrcella dies. Yes, boss. So she dies. And then when they land in King's Landing, do you remember what happens? No. It's simultaneously. You've got Alaria and I believe, what is it? Uh, Tyene. Or Tyene. They are back in Doran. They oh. stab him in the chest. Okay. She takes down the other guy yep. while Tristane is killed. Stop, 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 stop. First, it was a whip battle. Hmm. You had, um, you had Nymerian? You also had BDS and freaks going wild across the nation. People, like, dark skinned ladies cracking whips. But Obara <laughs> killed him with a literal blow to the back of his head with her knife. Yeah, because she's a wuss. And that's pretty much how that is. So you've got Doran, you've got Oberon that we have discussed, where he fought the mountain. That is his biggest, biggest thing. He's a hedonist. He enjoys wine, women, men, food, everything. They don't care. If it makes him smile, it's his. But he can't have me. But one thing, did you know that he was trained to be a maester? No. He was trained to be a maester. He learned just enough to know about poisons. Just enough to learn about poisons, and then he left. So he's a rogue. And that is what happened to the mountain, why he's in the state that he's in, because the specific poison that was given to him put him in that state. Because every time he cut him, that poison was there. He technically healed, but let's see, what did I put? Uh, it was cut with the manticore venom. So it causes the wounds to putrefy, and basically turned him into a silent, agonizing zombie. That's great. See? Extra information! That's gross. It's gross, but it kind of works. Because he in. cut him a lot. It's just he all did. These dozens of festering wounds just uh, puking you from the inside. It just makes you want to kind of die. So So we've got gross. we've got Doran. We just told you about Tristane. There's not much about Tristane except for Myrcella and his death. Can we just can we just like talk about um, Myrcella dying for a second? Because it was so funny. Oh, she yeah. she died and no one cared. Jamie cared. I mean, like, outs, like, us. Like, no, like, you didn't see any outcry oh, no. from anybody. Like, John died. Everyone freaks out. When, when, um... When Sanus died, everyone freaked out. When Ned died, everyone freaked out. But Marcella dies. Moving on! It's just amazing. Not so much we hate the Lannisters. The Lannisters, yes. Yeah, so that, that's true. Shame! Our, our disdain for the Lannisters, I don't know. Some people probably feel bad. Certain care Lannisters died, but I don't feel bad for any of them. So Alaria's hand. We basically just said what she had done. Sorry. He always off topic. But that's all right. That's, that's why I'm here. here. That's what we do. Alaria's hand. Oberon's paramour, mother of his children. We've said that. So you've got the three, the Sand Snakes. You've got Obara. Not and, Obama. And she's the eldest. Of his bastard daughters. I don't know what Eight one freaking one. daughters. That's all he could do is daughters. That's it. Just saying. That was his fault, by the way, not the woman's fault. So no, King, so he didn't really give a crap. King he was the younger King brother anyway. You were wrong. Tristan was going to take the throne. Well, like, but the point is, it was his fault. He's only making daughters, not anybody else. Well, yeah, you got the whole X Y thing going on. Exactly. Genetics. I guess you can say the boys in this line were X out. <laughs> She was named in her father's honor. She takes after him with her martial prowess, and her preferred weapon is the spear. That kind of goes with the whole spear son thing with the sigil. Spear through the penis. But that's yes. She out of out of she's the oldest, and they pretty much look up to her. Her younger sisters look up to her. She kind of runs the show in a way. Obviously, Ilaria does everything. You got Numeria. She's the second bastard of the Sand Snakes. She is, I believe, the full sister of Obara from the other woman. Uh, yes, her mother was the Eastern Noble Woman. Uh, she was taught to use the whip in combat. And she's probably the most cunning and calculated of the girls. She thinks with her head first, brawn second. Uh, well, no, no comment there. Maybe not well alone. Really, you don't have a comment? Well, I, I, have, a, I have a good many of them. I'm just going to... Let it pass. Just like poop. Just spread cheeks. 
you got your Charmin yet? I do have Charmin. And it feels Someone nice. sent him Charmin! Yay! Yeah, it was, it was a good time. Thank you! Then you have Tyene, or Tyena, however you say it, I completely forgot. But she's the third bastard daughter, and she's the eldest of Alarius. She's the one that is like her father in a lot where she has mastered the art of poison. And she loves her daggers. Do you remember what she does to, uh, uh, bloody hell, uh, Brawn. When they capture Brawn. Do you yes. remember? Okay. When, they, when they're fighting Jamie and Brawn, she cuts him with her daggers. Ready? And then what does she do in the jail cell when they're all together? Shows him her boob. Why does she do this, though? So Bron could admit that she's the most beautiful woman he's ever seen because she had an antidote for the poison that she gave him. How, how, exactly. How was the poison? How did he get the poison from the daggers when Oops. she was fighting him? Yep. But it was all to get his... Well, it was one boob, but yeah. Juice is flowing. Just so poison. So yeah, basically. And that's kind of sort of the way that they are. So you have others that are Point not... Point of the day. Boobs equals poison. Other children, we're just going to say is Sorella, Elia, which is named after Oberon's sister. And um, Oberon actually pens a nice little poem to Elia when he's in King's Landing because he kind of loves this little little girl and she's very special to him. And then you've got Daria and Larissa. So, I haven't showed the pictures. We'll do it simple. You've got Doran, Oberon, Tristane, Alaria, and the sna Sand Snakes. You've got Obara, uh no, Abara, Mira, Tristane, whatever, Tyene. I screwed that up. Oh well, forgive me. Or don't. But that is the end of House Martell. Next up is we're going to be talking about the Greyjoys, which you already kind of know most of what's going on, but we're going to wrap that up. Did you wrap it? No, but I did tap it. Here we are, we're going to be talking about the Greyjoys, Iron Islands. What is Dead Men Never Die? And we've got Balin. Four brothers. Balin, he's the king of the Iron Islands. Uh, Euron, his youngest brother, that was exiled and came back. There's a little killing, ends up becoming king to sit on the Salt Throne, which will good do for him. Do good for him. Aaron? Sounds good to me. Aaron? Aaron. A Aaron! A! It's a priest for the, for the drowned god, has no real significance except to baptize people and talk about the rules of, of, of the king's boot, which is basically an election for idiots. And then? Victorian? Not sure that's his name, but. Victorian. He's apparently. Sounds like a, a wow. Nobody boss. important. So. You've got these two. You've got Yara and Theon. They're the only surviving children of Balin. Let's just call Theon Dickless the Clown for the moment. We are. Because we've kind of <laughs> said it, but we haven't said it. Just because we were wanting to kind of deal with it at this point. And actually, oh, and Cyan, let's see. We had, we had a chair car crash there for a second. <laughs> I'm too close. Ew. All right. Balon. We don't see him until basically the second season. No. And he doesn't respond lightly when Theon comes back after, like, nine years of being exiled. Okay, because the history of House Greyjoy is their Iron Giants. Yeah. Uh, um, Iron Island's naval beasts. They're Vikings and pirates. I'm so, I'm so confused as to why his dad was mad about him, like, leaving when it was um, uh, basically a war contract. Okay. It, it was. It was a war contract. And actually, he's not as mad about him leaving. It's his appearance when he comes back. Yeah, but after nine friggin' years of being there, what's the hell He's not going to dress as an Ironborn. No, he's not going to be dressing as one of them. So that's basically it. So Did you've you got... the gold price of the Ironborn. You've got Balin. They fought. You've got Baratheon and Stark says, You know what? Screw you. We won. We're taking your son, Theon, because we've already killed your other two. Yep. And basically, it leaves him with Yara the daughter, who is going to take his throne, who he wants to take his throne. So Theon gets taken in by the Starks and is raised as a ward and gets very close to Rob. Yep. But he comes back because during a lot of the war stuff, he says, hey, you know, an alliance with the Greyjoys might work out. This might give us what we need. 
And since you're a Greyjoy, you should go to facilitate that. Yay! That did not work out well. His father burned the letter and said, you know what? I think I'm going to be king of the North. I deal to no one. Alright, jackass. He, yeah, he, so he decides he's going to get That's it. That's what got him in this situation in the first damn place. Yes! So just get it, you idiot. He doesn't understand. He just does the same damn mistakes over Those and over Those who do not again. understand history are doomed to repeat it. Goddamn Greyjoys! Oh. Sorry. I get really frustrated with dumb people. You've got that. The end comes back. He says... Let me prove this to you. So he sends him off, and somehow... You've got where he gets sent off, uh, the, uh, when Balin tries to say he's going to take the north. Yes. He ignores Theon saying to watch out for the Lannisters because he says, I'm not going to be going after the Lannisters. I'm going after the Stars. And he actually does. He's, Theon goes over there. He takes Winterfell. And he thinks <clears throat> Rickon and Bronn. He actually kills orphans, thinking I that they're I really thin. think the entire Winterfell thing was set up for Theon to fall into. Yes, it was. I... Ramsay admitted it. Yep. He admitted that's exactly what it was. Ramsay. Yes. As evil Ramsey. as Ramsay, Ramsay was, Snow. Was Ramsay Snow. As evil as Ramsay was, he was a goddamn genius. He was. And that I'll credit him for. Yes, we will definitely do that. I think he's pretty crazy. Cool. Or as John So Jackass is an idiot. Quit hating. He's got the skill to be a great commander, but he doesn't have the brains to back it up. As we saw with friggin' Leroy, he's... <laughs> Explain the Leroy reference, please. Okay, for those of you who have never played World of Warcraft or, or know nothing about Leroy Jenkins, a few years ago back in Vanilla WoW, before all the expansions started coming out, Burning Crusade... Kata, Miss, um, the current one as well. Um, it was back in one of the, uh, the top tier raids. So Leroy and his raid party were talking strat strategy for about four or five minutes in raid chat, vent chat. And Leroy's like, okay, guys, let's do this! And just charges in, going, Leroy Dragons! <laughs> Runs in, pulls in, pulls every single, like, Add boss everything out of the room, and the entire party gets killed. And the end of the video, he was like, oh, "At least I got chicken." So now, in the current expansion, you actually go into the dungeon where that happened and get him as one of your followers. But there's a, there's a little event. It's called the Chicken Timer event. So what you have to do is kill every single one of the bosses and and the ads in there, so he can just run through. It was like, oh. It's been a long time since I've been in here. I guess we must have killed everything. No, you didn't, you jackass. You got everybody killed. It's your <laughs> fault. But it's becoming a thing. I'm seeing it everywhere. People are calling it Leroy and doing all that. That's what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so back, back, back to, um, what is dead may never die. Yes. Sorry, Leroy. You're so cool, my book. So. I think that was a pretty good Leroy shot, though. No, it was. Awesome. We're going to fast forward to a man named... Ramsey Snow, your favorite evil psycho. Yeah, he is. I like evil characters when they have motivations. Not like Cersei. So, Cersei's just a raging bitch. Yes. Massive hormone check. Twice. <laughs> totally anti-feminist to me just say that, but moving on. Cersei is a bitch. Cunning bitch. I, I didn't think she was going to use that T word, but let's continue. <laughs> I didn't say the easy word. So after a bit, he's in Win he's in Winterfell, right? And Ramsay Snow tortures him and all that kind of stuff with lots of noise, and he confuses him, and he pretends to be somebody else, and he kidnaps him. Pretends to be someone who's gonna set him free. Yes. Sets him free. After, but this is yeah, this is where he's already been. He's already been tortured by people who look yep. like the Ironborn. Yep. He's done all that, and he says, "Look, your sister sent me." And your father is going to kill you. You need to follow me, and I will take you to her. And he even sets up a whole getting jump when they're out there, the so first, he can kill them. The first time I saw Ramsay Snow, I was like, dude's freaking psycho. Yes! First time. I knew there was something just off about him, because he had that little, like, shitty evil grin. He's just like, hey, I'm Ramsay Snow. Hey, you're going to get people killed. And he does. So you've got Theon. He now is a prisoner. We're going to talk about Theon just a second. But... Right now, we're talking about 
Balin, he receives a box with a gift. We're not saying what the gift is yet. We're not going to say what the gift is. God damn it. But he gets a box with a gift, proof that he has his son. And if he does not give up his claim and withdraw his troops from the north and return the territories to Ramsay, he's going to keep getting these lovely little gift boxes. Yara says... We need to go get him. Dad said, I'm not going to. She says, screw you, Dad. I'm taking the best warriors, and we're out of there. Father, he is still an ironborn. He is my brother. Ah. <laughs> so, that kind of sort of fails. In a different way. When we talk about Theon, when we not, talk it's about not the... It's a kind of sort of failure. It was a massive failure. It was. When we talk about Theon, it's, it's in the list. We'll get there. When you think of Theon, think failure. <laughs> the... After he loses Ironborn Castle, the last only Ironborn Castle in the north. Yes. Uh, he vows to send more troops, and he gets angry because Yara wasted him with her failed attempt at getting her brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, they storm out. He storms out, and what happens? He meets up with his brother. Yeah. You're on. Yes. They have a little tossle on the bridge. Yes. He gets, he gets a nice little cut. You know, nice scar to flash around. But Balin <laughs> over the bridge. The only thing I thought yeah. of when he got pushed over the bridge was Skyrim. Bozota! It was Yara. hilarious. Yara. She's the one we're gonna talk about next because Yara, when we first meet her, she is an unknown woman who comes to greet Theon. He tries to seduce her and then realizes oh shit. That is my sister when she goes up That's with her dad. That's my dad. sister. So, I didn't even recognize unlike you, Unlike everybody y'all. else in Westeros, he backs off. He doesn't try to tap that shit. Seriously? Which is surprising. That's it. Considering, considering that's what everybody else Westeros. does. So we meet her. She is basically going to be the heir to, to the Salt Throne. That is what they call it. The Salt Throne. And she has her own ship. And she... Uh, has her own set of warriors, and she has no problem with all this pillaging and all that and killing people. She's pretty good at it. So was it just me, or was no one else surprised that she was a lesbian? Or at least in the show. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure she was. They just showed she had a preference for that. They didn't all out say it. I mean, she could be like the Martells. That's true. So, after receiving the box from Ramsey, she heads off to rescue Theon, where she arrives. He is a mental basket case. Can we, can we say what's in the box? No, when we talk about Theon, we're going to talk about what's in the box. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, we keep moving off. We are on Yara. She does boss. She says, you know what? Screw you, Theon. We got to go because Ramsey has released the hounds. Yeah. And... Who let the dogs out? Yeah. Yeah, rough. He forces them to retreat. 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 Retweet. <laughs> and so on the boat, she says, Theon is dead. We're done. We have to go home. Um, now we're talking about her argument with her father. <laughs> but, I said, she argues with her father. Yeah. He gets thrown over to his death, plunging by all that. And then she says, because her father wants her to be ruler, she claims... The salt throne. And not a thing of measurement. Okay. <laughs> but her uncle Aeon reminds her that the king's moot is what decides yep. who sits on the throne. And as we discussed, it's basically a Neanderthalic version of voting. It's a battle of the dicks. Not even a battle. It's a battle of the dicks. It's a verbal battle of the dicks. It's a debate. It's a debate. It's all you it show up. Show up, choose. state your case. So, when Theon um, returns, changed. Yes. She feels a bit threatened until he swears his support for her and for her reclamation of the, thr of the throne. No woman so, has ever led the Iron Islands before. Don't you think it's time for that challenge? Yeah. So at the King's Moot, she is the first to claim it, and there are plenty of people who approve, but then you have Uncle... You're on. That shows up. Yep. Sup, bitch. I'm coming to take it. You know what? Yeah, I did kill your daddy. I came in like a rat. He was not ball. a good ruler, and I am going to take this. And people started following her. Following him. The thing is, is that Theon did so much to help support his sister. 
And they were all good with it, and then there were such turncoats when they decided, hey, we're doing that. So while Uncle Euron is being baptized, Yara and Theon decide to take all they the They abscond boats. with the navy. And they took off. So Euron is a king with no army and no boats. Can, can we just make sense for a second? So Euron decides to have everyone in the islands build new ships. You live on a goddamn rock. There's no trees. Where are they going to come from? Where are they going to come from? There's no wood to build new ships with. Did you think about that, George? Send R. a raven to House Forester, Telltale Games, get some iron wood. Yeah, but, there the, you but go. still, like that would take time for the raven to get there. I wish for would. them to acquire the supplies, get them back to the Iron Islands, and then make the ship. Oh, yeah. The time scales in this show are friggin' retarded. Well, they, they haven't shown him take a ship, so. So he's still in the process of doing it. Yeah, but just in general, time does make time in this show does not make sense. Period. We can agree with that. We okay. can agree with tacos are also delicious. Theon. Thank you, Mexico. We're talking about Theon now. You can talk about Theon first. Reek. Foul. It's just. I just he he could have. He lost an opportunity. Yeah. And as we've already stated, he was given to the Starks as a prisoner. And basically raised as a ward, treated as well as the bastard anyway. Yep. When he and Rob are doing dealings with the battle, he suggests the alliance with his father to get the ships, King's Landing. We know that he fails and he returns and he's a base of disappointment. He gets baptized in the name of the drowned king to make his dad happy, to appease him. And then he gets sent off. He claims Winterfell. Now we're into where he gets kidnapped. Yep. We just told you a little bit about that. Now he's going to tell you what is in the box. It's a dick in the box! <laughs> it is. It's a dick in the box. He literally yes. cut his dick off. Snip, snip, snip. But that was not before he decided to flay his fingers. Uh, can we skip that? Does that hurt ouchies? Just like, it makes but me twinge. they're known for... Playing. Yeah. So you have that. And what is even funnier is when he offers for him to eat, he's like eating this huge sausage, and then he makes Theon think it's his own peanuts. <laughs> is that not the truth? Eat a dick, Ramsey. Oh wait, you just got eaten by a wolf. I think the I think that episode should have been the season finale because that would have been a great place to, to end off. But that's just my opinion. That's his opinion. Just, it's, We're good it's that. so fucking stupid. Anyway, so you have this. Ramsay, Ramsay Snow has cut off his appendages. He is torturing him like fuck. Before he tortured him, he sent him two whores to lust him up and get a little bit of stuff going on because they want to see, they hear about how his thing is. And then he comes in, oh, I kind of want to see it too. Oh, that's your favorite member. Cut. Like, <laughs> they could have at least moved him to a different room. Instead of being that? the room torture room. Yeah, because that would just give you so many mixed goddamn emotions. He did! He tried, but then he... Yeah, he, he tried to resist. He was just like, alright, well this has happened, and so go for it. Right. But still, you can turn left and see that you were just hanging off of this, whatever it's called, and being tortured almost to pe literally to pieces, and then boobs. It's like, no, I would just... You know. So you've got that. He's fucked. He has been driven down to the point of a worm. He calls him Reek. Reek. Reek means foul. You stink. You are awful. He, his dad is even embarrassed. If you bathed him, he wouldn't stink and he wouldn't be Reek. Re yeah, Ramsey's dad is even embarrassed on the treatment of him. So he is this. Sansa comes in. We've already talked about when Sansa comes. So you've got him. And he's even brought in as proof to his, to Bruce Bolton, Ramsey's father. Yes. And he says, you have basically just screwed us out of a hostage negotiation. Yep. So, he's a bit upset with that. Ramsey, not happy with him being upset. We'll talk about what Ramsey does to his dad later on. I said, I honestly <laughs> think Ramsey is more sinister than Joffrey ever was. Yeah, because Ramsey, like, puts plans in place and then has plans for Joffrey's his plans. Joffrey's just crazy. And then has plans for his other plans. Like, oh, yeah. it just it's stacked in tears. Whereas Joffrey would just, like... I want you to die! And it's done. And he just fucking forgets about it and goes drinking again. Oh, yeah. Glad Joffrey's dead, little bitch. So, ending it with Theon, he helps Sansa escape. Yeah. So she's going to Castle Black, he helps her escape, and he is where he is. 
And that's when he comes back to see his sister to pro help her proclaim her throne or reclaim her throne or whatever. Um, no, proclaimed, correct. They take off in the boats and that's when they meet up in the end of the season finale. They meet up with the other people. How's Bolton? That's the Flayed Man. That's actually what the Boltons are known for. The Flayed Man and they're, they kind of actually were under House Stark. And they pretty much said, don't do the flay. Just don't do the flying. <laughs> and of course they still do the flay! So the Stark said to the Boltons, Bolton, don't do the thing. The Bolton said, I'm going to do the thing. This is like a major theme, right? Stark said, don't do the thing or you're done. Bolton, I'm done and I'm going to do the thing. <laughs> yeah. so, don't do the thing! Just don't do it! Go. Stop! Bolton, what are you doing? Bolton, stop! Leave Starks alone. Burn the witch. So, you've got the Boltons. Not so much friendly with the Starks, but when Rob is taking over, yeah. they play on their side. Yes. And they seem to make it like it works, but it pretty much was it. As much as the Boltons hate the Starks, they swear allegiance to Rob when he claims King of the North. I haven't when Theon Greyjoy invades Winterfell, the Boltons see it as a chance. Bruce Bolton sees it as a chance to send his son, Ramsay Snow, for he was a bastard, to retake Winterfell. Yep. Rob is good with it for now, because and he sends the Ironborn pack in. He says, well, well, most of them except for Theon. He's good with it though, because you know Theon's kind of a dick, or yeah. dick. <laughs> <laughs> Theon's kind of a dick. Too bad he doesn't have one. Burn! This gives Ramsay a bit of a head trip, and he says, you know what? No, no, no. These Ironborns are not going to go. He actually flays the ones that fled. Yep. So, he's, he did the thing! He did the thing. He did the thing he was told to not do. Don't do the thing if you're told not to. And so this is where he starts torturing Theon. He somehow gets hold of Jamie Lannister and Brianna Tarth yep. as captors. But while they're sitting down to dinner, they pretty much come to an agreement. So, Don't do the thing. Betrayal. So we've got betrayal. Of course, there are turncoats. This is Game of Thrones, right? Everybody's learning from Baelish. <laughs> so their focus is to reclaim the North, and they do a good job of Winterfell for the time. You've got Roose Bolton. He is... I only have two pictures here, because there's not that many of them. Let's get the people who can't see a closer look. Hey, here you go, guys. Here's Roose and Ramsey Bolton right there. Oh, no, no. Roose and Ramsey Snow. Roose yeah. and Ramsey Snow right there. There you go, right there. Look at it. Look the at that. Bruce. Oh, He's man, the Bruce. lord of House Bolton. Trueborn son by his first wife died, leaving him with only his bastard Ramsey. Only his bastard. As said earlier, he captured Jamie and Brienne, but that's where he comes to deal with them during dinner, and he is told to tell the Lannister, say, the Lannister send the regards. The Lannister send the regards. That is what they told him to say, in which he did. With Rob's final death blow at the Red Wedding, Roos Bolton said that. I mean, He's pissed off that he has mutilated his, what would have been his hostage. But... They go to the top of the hill and have a kind of Simba moment. Look at the land! Look at all this land! It is the north, and it is, thanks to you, it is ours. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. <laughs> but Dad, what about that gray area? That's Detroit. We no. don't go there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got... Detroit, I love you, but you got some things to work out, okay? I love you. I was They're born, I was born in Detroit. I love you to pieces. You always be my home, but you got some stuff to work out. Cheers. <laughs> so, Bruce becomes the great Lord of Winterfell. This is where they make the deal with Peter Baelish for him to bring Sansa because, you know, his son needs an heir. He needs to have some business going on. Think how funny it is. You have Ramsay, the guy who loves cutting dicks off, making a deal. A little thing. <laughs> making a deal with a guy who's known to have a little dick. It's funny. Bruce is not happy with the way Ramsay's treating Sansa. Bruce never looks happy. He just always has this mean, stern look. But it's better than his son's crazy look. 
So he's upset with this. At this point, he says, you know what? I am having a son. This kind of takes Ramsey ta aback. Because at this point, because he reclaimed all that stuff, he was legitimized. Yep. He was given a piece of paper. He went from Snow to Bolton. Ramsey Bolton. So here he is, but now he's got a son. So he also reminds him he is the product of raping yep. a woman, a miller, and married a woman without approval. So he killed the miller, hung him, and he raped the wife. And ta-da, Ramsey. I mean, I understand that he was kind of freaking out that he's going to have a little baby brother. That's fine. Whatever. It's, well, it was what normal. his father threatens later yeah. on, but yeah. I, I understand that. But at the same time, like, he's still technically the firstborn. So would have a claim to his father's if he was, everything. Because he was legitimized. He was but legitimized, he was going to exactly. take that away. Yeah, if he fucked up. And uh, he said, with because uh, after spying Stannis Baratheon, says defeats the army, and because he let Sansa escape, this is when he threatens him, because he let Sansa escape, no. this is when he said, I'm going to take it back, you know, I'm going to have a son, and he's going to be the heir to the north, and without that, you'll have no choice but to take Ramsay's title and name the unborn heir, unborn son his true heir. That's how that happened. But it's not like he had a personal hand letting her escape. Like, his guards are the one who failed, not this, him. This doesn't sit well with Ramsey, so he stabs him in the gut. <laughs> Ironically, just how Rob Stark was stabbed at the Red Wedding by Bruce. Yep. yep. And then he doesn't Full stop circle. The circle of life. He kills off Bruce's wife yep. and their newborn son. Because he says, I'm top, bitch. That's it. Bolton. Me. He's the last Bolton. I'm a boss ass bitch. 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 I'm a boss ass bitch. So now that's the end of Roost. Now we're going on to Ramsey, who actually is one of my favorite psychotic people in general. I love the actor. I love everything that he has done in this. He can play crazy. I really wish they would have Mads Mikkelsen come in in Game of Thrones. Oh, wow. That'd You're going all Hannibal on that. Fucking amazing. Dude, he was an amazing Hannibal. Yes. Said, what can we say that hasn't been said yet? I know. I know. Um, we'll talk about the battle. You can't talk about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're, 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 we're basically getting there. So we've got that. He's Bruce's bastard son. Proves to be more psychotic than Joffrey. He has a thing for ravenous hounds and very proficient with his bow and arrow. Obviously not. It took him eight shots. No, 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 no. He did it on purpose as a game. So he kidnaps and tortures Theon Greyjoy to extreme lengths, marries Sansa Stork, tortures, rapes her repeatedly, until she runs away to her brother thanks to Theon. She said all of that really fast. I might add subtitles. Do you want me to repeat that? I'm no. just trying to break I'm it down because we I'm, already know no, it. No, it's okay. It's a joke. <laughs> I jest. I be, see, I be Siri. Calm down. He also has a thing for a girl named Miranda, who actually enjoys all this torture yeah. stuff that he does. And she kind of is jealous of Sansa. She was like... <laughs> she's like that one friend you have who you think is attractive until she starts talking and you're just like, nope, never mind. Moving on. But he really loves her. Yeah. Isn't she like a stable, stable hands daughter or something? Uh, she's a servant of some sort yeah. because she's told to serve Sansa. She gives she's her a She's born. So... But he was a bastard, and that was the whole thing. He was a bastard. They were together. It was okay when he was a bastard, yeah. but he couldn't have her when he had a child. Oh, trail. now the child is the gentleman. Maybe we can't bone. You're right. So she's obviously jealous of Sansa. Yeah. And she je and she says, you know, I'm going to warn you how he is, and this is how it is, and I don't like it. It's okay because Miranda gets killed. He's not happy when... He realizes that they have murdered her. Yeah. He's pissed off. So he approaches Lord Umber, asking for support for finding Jon Snow and the Wildlings in the castle at Last Hearth. Ramsay agrees if he's given fealty. Instead of fealty, he says, you know what, I'm not going to bend any. Just not going to do it. But I have these two little presents for you. We've got Osha and Rickon. They've been disappeared for practically the entire time when they split up from Bronn. Yep. And here they are, captured. Now they're in Bolton's hands. This is... <laughs> Fucking Starks. So he Fuck kills it. Usher because Usher thinks that she can seduce him. And he thinks... He lets her think she's doing it. And then he just cuts her. I was really upset when they killed Usher. 
I really liked her. I was expecting her to go a little bit further and do a little bit more. They could have done a lot with her character. Like, she was actually great to watch on screen. So, when he kills Osha, uh, sends a letter to Jon Snow in regarding that Sansa's on his way. Um, Battle of Bastards. You've been wanting to talk about it. Let's talk about it. We finally see the ending episodes, so this one will finish Ramsey perfect. Said so, big battlefield, John's multiple armies on one side, and many, many more Boltons on the Everything other. Everything I've been saying about Jon Snow since I started watching this show was proved Battle of the Bastards. He's a goddamn idiot who doesn't do anything people actually need him to do. He does what he wants to do, period. Because John and Sansa were talking about the battle plans, and he said himself, we don't want to get cornered on three sides. We want to outflank them. But John's dumbass... Okay, yes, he was motivated by a brother's death. He gets in berserker mode, that. basically. I under, yeah, I understand that, and that's fine. He sees his brother die, races off. Who runs fine. in a straight line. Yeah, his fault. runs in a goddamn straight line. There's a guy with a bow and arrow shooting after you. Rickon, he zagged when you should have zigged. Yep, this close, John. It was kind of like... Yeah, that hurt me, because I'm a because br- I have a brother, you know? And I have sisters as well. So seeing them die when I could have done something t- to prevent it, you know, that would have hurt me too. But he also did the thing he was not supposed to do that he said not to do. John, don't do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. John, to do it. I'm going to do it. He did the thing. You almost did the thing. I almost did the thing and knocked my, got my do over. And that's a bad thing. So... John rushes in, and then, what's, what's his name? What's his name? Which one? Um, uh, so he rallies everyone, gets everyone moving, and then bodies pile up. Jon Snow is climbing out of bodies. Like, I, I hope he was going to die. I just, I just kept praying and hoping that he was going to die. But he gonna, doesn't. I know. I know. So because angry a giant about. breaks through the He army. deserved to die! He got everybody but, killed! But we did talk about this a little bit about John, with Jon Snow. But yeah, he broke through. The giant broke through. Had all this shit... He got into Winterfell, yep. beat the crap out of him, because I remember yep. you were telling us all about the scene where it was a one yeah. take. Sansa gets her revenge. Yeah, Sansa basically pulls a Baja man and lets the dogs out. She reminds him they've not been fed for seven days. You haven't fed your dog for seven days. He thinks they're that they're going to listen to his ass. But they're not dogs. They're loyal to us out. You haven't fed them for seven days. And then starts sniffing his face. Just rawr, 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 rawr. And puppy chat. This is exactly where puppy chat needs to come in. This is, I think, this is the best way to end with the Boltons. Puppy chat. Ramsey's you death. should hire me as your advertising specialist because I see opportunities where you have failed. You know nothing, puppy chow. Bolton, House Bolton, Blade Man, fucked up kid. Good times. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks better run, better run, faster than Rickon!